Thank you all for being here today as we explore the world of digital privacy. My name is Song Yuhao, and I have dedicated 15 years of my career to the field of cybersecurity. In this talk, we will dive into privacy concerns surrounding ChatGPT, an open AI developed chatbot that generates human-like text and is capable of a lot of things like programming or writing articles. I asked ChatGPT a question. Do you collect user data? Its answer is no. I don't know whether I should believe it or not. I will tell you why. Do you still remember the fappening? It also known as Celebrate. Nine years ago, it was a massive leak of private and intimate photos and videos of over 100 celebrities, leaving them exposed and vulnerable. It was a scandal that shook the world and a real eye-opener about how sensitive our digital lives can be. Upon investigation, Apple found out that the leaks were caused by compromised iCloud accounts from a highly targeted attack on usernames, passwords, and security questions. The FBI eventually caught some of the hackers involved in the incident. As long as we are not high-value targets, we don't need to worry too much about these targeted attacks. What we need to do is take good care of our own passwords and personal devices. But what else we need to think about when it comes to privacy? Jumping ahead to 2021, there was a massive data leak that exposed personal info of over 500 million Facebook users worldwide, like phone numbers, full names, locations, birth dates, and email addresses. And more recently, China's express industry saw a huge data leak of 4.5 billion pieces of personal info, like real names, phone numbers, and addresses. This kind of data leaks are usually caused by hackers' attacks on the internet platforms or even insiders directly stealing data. Some people might not think it a big deal because the leaked info isn't very private. But let's imagine that if a scammer posing as a customer service had all your real info, wouldn't it be way easier for them to trick you? To help fight against data breaches, we should do better at security knowledge, raising awareness, or working with the police. But is there anything else besides cyber, crime, cyber crimes we should worry about when it comes to privacy? A couple of years back, a lot of us were wondering if our phone apps were listening to us, because the recommendations we got were just so precise and timely. I mean, it happened to me too. I once chatted with my friends about, about a mobile phone brand, and then, one or two hours later, the shopping app suggested that exact brand to me. Are the apps really listening to us though? Not indeed. The thing is, the company don't need to eavesdrop on us. They just gather a bunch of data from our app usage, like Wi-Fi names, network addresses, search history, tap, and swipe operations. With the help of big data and AI, they can create super accurate profiles of us and our preferences. Now, some people might think that's great because the recommendations are more accurate and it's easier to find what we want. But some, but some others say that this kind of data exploitation can make us spend more money or even buy stuff we don't actually need. That's why strict regulations were eventually introduced, like Europe's GDPR and China's Personal Information Protection Law. These laws give users the right to refuse data collection for personalized recommendations, and even the right to be forgotten, meaning the companies have to delete all info related to a user's account at their request. Okay, to sum up, we've discussed the privacy risks associated with cyber crimes that target individuals, cyber crimes against internet platforms, and the user data collection by internet companies. Earlier this year in March, Italian regulators cited the GDPR and banned ChatGPT. What's the reason? Many people believe it can be traced back to a user data leak that occurred just one week prior. Due to a vulnerability in ChatGPT system, some users were able to access conversation titles of other users on the ChatGPT page. One user on Reddit even shared a picture of ChatGPT page with titles like 
Chinese Socialism Development, and other Mandarin titles. OpenAI identified the issue and uh, fixed it in a few days. Following a more in-depth investigation, the company admitted that the security flaw might lead to the disclosure of users' re payment-related information. This includes details such as their usernames, email addresses, and billing addresses. This incident serves as a reminder that AI systems, like any other systems, are not perfect. They can be vulnerable to traditional risks, including security flaws and potential cyber criminal activities. However, a single incident isn't enough to get ChatGPT banned, right? I mean, other platforms have had security breaches too. So surely they must be some, uh, there must be some bigger risks that we are not seeing yet. Let's return to the question I posed at the beginning of my sharing. Does ChatGPT collect user data? It actually said more than no. Here's its full answer. AI model doesn't directly collect data, but the platform or website you are using to interact with ChatGPT may collect user data for personalized recommendations. You see, with the mobile apps, they only collect info like our tabs and searches. Big data and AI make it so precise that we feel like our mobile phones are listening to us. But with ChatGPT, the info we give through chat conversation is way more detailed. For example, ChatGPT knows I'm giving a TEDx talk about privacy today. It also knows I was writing an encryption program in Python yesterday. The more I use it, the more they knows about my work, interests, and skills. It would be like having an assistant that knows my work even better than I do. Now this might sound bad, but don't worry. We can laws to protect our data. If we are uncomfortable with the super precise profiles, we can ask the platform not to collect or even to delete our info. Furthermore, the upcoming law in China mandates that generative AI like uh, ChatGPT must not create user profiles derived from users' input data and usage patterns. But there's another privacy issue that's not easy to fix. There's a setting on the ChatGPT website that allows your chat history to be used for model training. By default, this setting is turned on. So if you use ChatGPT to, to organize sensitive information like financial reports or technical secrets, whether consciously or not, that information could become part of ChatGPT's knowledge through the model training process. Then if someone asked a question, Related to that topic, ChatGPT might provide an answer based on your secrets. Furthermore, AI models are like black boxes. Once data has been used for model training, it is impossible to separate it back out. So if someone accidentally shares a secret with ChatGPT, how can they stop ChatGPT from using that information in further training and consequently making it public knowledge? If a secret has already been incorporated into the model, how can it be eliminated from ChatGPT? We are still waiting for OpenAI to provide an answer to these questions. For us as users, unless we are uh, fully confident that we are not using ChatGPT to handle sensitive information, it would be better to disable the setting that allows our data to be used for model training. Today, I talked about privacy risks that come with ChatGPT. Like other internet platforms, ChatGPT has security issues, cybercrime problems, and data breaches. And the platform providing ChatGPT may collect user data to create profiles for personalized recommendations. ChatGPT also brings a new risk from model training. Sensitive information could get permanently built into the model then accessed by everyone. I'm not telling you not to use ChatGPT. The truth is I got a ton of help from ChatGPT for this talk. And most of the pictures you saw here were created by other AI systems. I'm definitely a big fan of these AI tools. I just want you to know the risks and how to avoid them. 
When using AI bots like ChatGPT, remember, it's not just your personal assistant. It's a public platform. So think twice before asking something. If you'd be OK posing, posting it on a help forum, go for it. You can ask ChatGPT safely. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you.